this is gonna be a six to almost seven months update of me living in Baltimore how I've been doing so far how life has been and honestly it's been it's been pretty chill except for the fact that I'm fighting for my life every single month I am gonna share a bit of my experience just because I want to be able to look back on this video in a couple years and say oh my gosh look how far I've come you know I don't need your criticism I don't need your mean words I just need support I'm making this video for myself and for anybody else who may be going through this millions and millions of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck they are in so much credit card debt and I've never been the one to experience financial instability growing up and I was very privileged to not experience that and I just feel so out of my element because I am not comfortable I feel like I'm always struggling I'm always just making ends meet and I don't like that I moved from Houston to Baltimore in January to pursue a new work opportunity and because I hated living in Houston the cost of living in Baltimore is significantly higher than the cost of living in Houston and I knew this but I wasn't expecting me to be struggling this much this is the most credit card debt that I've ever been in. My bank account has not been this low probably since high school or since high school. Yeah, and I'm just not used to that. <sighs> but it's okay. Everything is going to work out. Everything's going to be fine. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine. It's so crazy because all the bills that I have are built like necessities. I have my rent, I have my car payments and insurance, groceries, electricity bill. I do not go get my hair done. Like I do my hair myself. I do not get my nails done. I, there's nothing that I can remove unless I sell my car and like start walking everywhere, which I'm not going to do because that will be an even bigger inconvenience for me to be honest I have tried to cut costs but there's literally nothing further that I can cut everything that I'm paying for or things that I need and that's just the truth and I'm not gonna stay home and not do anything just to save $50 for fun activities that and before the YouTube commenters the know-it-alls Come in my comments saying, oh, you're living above your means. You need to get a cheaper place or get a cheaper car. Like, I'm not going to compromise on where I live, especially safety wise, living in Baltimore. I'm not living above my means. My income matches what I pay for rent. Unfortunately, because I am single, I don't have any dependents. They are taking more out of my taxes. I have to contribute 7% of my paycheck towards retirement that's mandatory i cannot change that or else i would and inflation is just hitting everybody so that's also something that i need to remind myself like yeah i have also thought about getting a second job but i'm already tired from my regular eight to five as it is that i just don't think it will be beneficial for me because I need sleep to survive. I need sleep to function. And if I get a second job on top of the job that I already have, I'm just gonna crash out and burn out. And I'm also not going to move back to Massachusetts. That's just not even an option, not even a thought. I am staying in Baltimore. Um, I love it. This is my new home, so. The job is not what I expected it to be. The organization and the communication is severely lacking. I don't know what I want exactly. And I've been meaning to make a list of what my ideal job is, but I need to sit down and think about it. But it's like, how do you know? How did you know what you wanted to be? 
I feel like I'm not good at anything specific. I don't know. This is so hard. Being an adult is so hard. Not knowing what you want to do, not knowing what you're passionate about, not knowing what you're good at. I don't know what to do with my life. I am just so lost and I don't like it. I don't like the uncertainty. I don't like the instability. I just don't like it at all. My life is just a big question mark right now. I know I'll figure it out. And everybody's always like, oh, like you're so young, you have time to figure it out. And it's like, yeah, that's great and all, but at the same time, I'm not always gonna be young. You know, at one point, I'm gonna have to have it figured out. I am currently editing this video and I briefly talked to my friend yesterday from Houston and she just reminded me of a couple things that I thought needed to be mentioned because I had forgotten about them myself or I just forgot to mention it. So here it is. You know how Meek Mill says, I used to pray for times like this? I really did. I really used to pray to be in this situation that I'm in right now. I used to pray to be out of Houston, to be in the field that I'm working at now. And I just need to remind myself that this is where I wanted to be. Although it may not look the way that I expected it to look, it is where I want it to be. It is what I prayed to God for. And I'm doing pretty good. I need to give myself some grace. I need to be more understanding because it's not always going to be rainbows and sunshine. And my year in Houston definitely proved that. So I just need to remind myself, this is what you wanted. You wanted to be closer to home. You wanted to be closer to your friends and family. You wanted to be in this job field. You wanted to be out of Houston, and you are. I need to remind myself of that. And although the situation might not be ideal right now, it's what I wanted. Um, chill. Anyway, so. On to more fun topics. Let's get into how my regular life has been since moving to Baltimore. I have been trying to make friends. And honestly, I... I do consider myself a deadbeat friend. I'm not the best at reaching out, checking in to see how they are. Um, I'm not the type of friend who's gonna text you every day and say, hi, how are you? Um, I just don't like small talk. I don't like chit chat. And I feel like making friends as an adult and maintaining those connections can be challenging, but I do need to be better at developing the connections that I have in Baltimore and just nurturing those friendships more. I haven't done much dating out here, so I don't know how the dating life is. I just mind my business and I just stay home, honestly. Well, I really haven't encountered too many potential love interests and I feel like there's nobody that I'm really interested in out here. I don't know, dating has not been that great. But then again, I don't really do like I don't interact. I don't do much. So y'all remember when I said there's a lot of red light cameras and speeding cameras in Baltimore? Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Cause they're not finna get me. Y'all, please tell me why I got caught. I got a two. Two tickets in the mail. Wow, well, that's unfortunate. Mind you, I wasn't even speeding. Why the f you lying? Why? I wasn't even speeding, but they sent me two tickets. Luckily, it was for like $40 each, but like, they literally sent me a picture of me, my car. They're so federal. They are so federal, like, I wasn't even speeding. I was not. Anyways, summer is upon us. I don't have any summer plans yet. Um, I'm just gonna be at work, honestly. Oh my God, like if anybody who is rich and is watching this, I hope this video makes sense. If not, thank you for liking anyways. Thank you for watching anyways. 
Um, I am super, super close to almost being eligible for monetization. Super close to 500 followers. I just need about 2,000 more watch hours. So please, please watch till the end and watch my other videos, share my other videos. Like, I don't want to be a full-time influencer. I do want a 9 to 5. I just don't know what the 9 to 5 is going to be like. Thank you so much for following along. Thank you for tuning in to my journey, being part of it with me. And hopefully in a couple months, I'll have it a little bit more figured out. I think. I hope. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you're in the same boat or you were in a similar boat, tell me how you got out of it. Yeah, I'll take any advice, any prayers, anything positive. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. I think I've let it all out. I hope.